Hey guys, it's Amy and today I want to talk to you about condiments. So I chose this topic because condiments are one of those things that we kind of put to the back burner. We don't really think about it. We think of more in terms of what we're eating and not what we're putting on our food or we're mixing into it, right? But when you look at all these ingredients like ketchups and dressings and sauces, a lot of them have hidden stu hidden stuff in them that we didn't even know. So I want to show you some of the things that we have in our house and how we've elevated these condiments so that we don't have to cut them out, but I'm not getting all the junk in them. So first and foremost, we're going to use probably the most po popular condiment, ketchup. So ketchup is one of those things that most of them have high fructose corn syrup. So the, the brands that we all grew up loving have high fructose corn syrup. Now a days, those brands are making ones with organic sugar or just replacing the, uh, the corn syrup with sugar. And that's what you wanna look for. Uh, you can get ketchup without sugar completely. I will tell you that it changes the, the taste of it because ketchup is one of those things that ha needs to have like a sweetener in it to taste like what you normally think ketchup should taste like. So we just get the one with organic sugar. And it's one of those that you hold upside down so you can see it has no high food source corn syrup. So when you're looking, you wanna get sh uh, sugar, uh, ones with sugar instead of corn syrup. Also, I most of our stuff in our house is organic. I'm not saying you have to do that, but uh, tomatoes are on the dirty dozen list. So for me, ketchup is super important to get organic, especially if it's something that um, I'm using. I don't use it every day, but if I'm using it in my house, it's definitely something that I like to have uh, organic. Okay, sriracha is also something that while it's amazing, sriracha is one of those things that when you're eating like what you consider like a plain meal, right? You just throw some sriracha on it, it gives it some spice, but look at the back of your sriracha. Does it have high fruit source corn syrup? Because it's also one of those uh, condiments that it needs some kind of sweetener, right? To taste like what we think it should taste like. So I get one, this one has agave in it. So instead of using high fructose corn syrup, this one uses agave. You can find them which with uh, sugar as well. That's gonna be better than high fructose corn syrup. All right, next on the list is soy sauce. So soy sauce has a ton of sodium in it and it usually has wheat in it. I'm allergic to wheat, so that's out for that reason. Uh, but I also don't want the, the high sodium and we tend to stray away from soy, not completely, uh, but it's just one of those things that again, I'm not buying it from my house. Right, there's how, how I buy things from my house and how I go out and if I eat in a restaurant is a little bit different just because that's once in a while. But in my house, it's in my house, right? So I want things as high quality as possible. So instead of using soy sauce, cause I love it and I don't wanna give it up, I use coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is a, a soy sauce substitute that tastes so similar to it. Like this is amazing and the sodium is way less than soy sauce and of course it doesn't have wheat in it so it's fantastic literally the ingredients in this i'm gonna read it is certified organic fair trade coconut blossom nectar uh water and sea salt that's it so we use this a lot and then i also just want to show you that they have different flavors so this one is the gingery lime this one is just the the other one i showed you was just the plain one all right next we're gonna go through salad dressing. So salad dressings, uh, for the most part, I tend to make my salad dressing just because it's a pretty easy process. However, if that's not, that doesn't float your boat or that's just not you, I'm gonna show you some, um, two two of them. We have a little bit, we have a couple more in the fridge, but these are, it's the same brand. So it just, if you don't like the flavors I show you, just know that these companies have different um, flavors. So first, if you are somebody that likes a creamy dressing, right? Let's say you are like a ranch person, Caesar dressing, you don't have to give that up. Just look at the ingredients of what you're eating now and see if it's something that you wanna continue eating, right? We like uh, the creamy ranch from, uh, I don't even know how to say it, Tesame, I believe. It's amazing and it has high quality ingredients. It doesn't have canola oil in it. It doesn't have corn syrup. A lot of dressings have corn syrup in it a lot. <laughs> like, start looking at your your condiments and you're going to be like, I had no idea I was having corn syrup like 20 million times a day. <laughs> so, and it just has all sorts. It has egg yolks in it. This is one that Ray typically likes to, to have just because I found out I am allergic to eggs or I have a high sensitivity to eggs. Um, so 
I like this one, Bragg's. Bragg's, if you are familiar with the company, they make the apple cider vinegar, uh, which I highly recommend if you're gonna get apple cider vinegar, you get the Bragg's one because it has what's called the mother, which just means it's, it's fermented in the proper way as opposed to the other brands where um, you're basically just getting, you know, not high quality vinegar, okay? Um, and it's amazing. So I use this as marinade, I use it as dressing, and it's super, super delicious. And again, super simple ingredients. I'm gonna read this one for you. It says water, organic apple cider vinegar, organic apple juice concentrate, organic onion, organic black pepper, and natural zen. I don't know what that, how to say that word, but <laughs> simple, right? Uh, it has the, the apple juice concentrate because I don't know if you're noticing a trend, but a lot of condiments, we like them sweet. We, we like things sweet. You may not think of it as being like a sweet thing, but almost all condiments besides like mustard have some kind of sweetener in it. So instead of this company, instead of them putting like agave or sugar, they chose to use apple juice. All right, and then last but not least is mayo. So I love mayo. I love making like, well, I used to love making egg salads, but when I found out all the chicks to eggs, I can't have that anymore. But like now I make like tuna fish salad or tuna fish sal or chicken salad or things like that. So you need mayo, right? Um, you can use like uh, Greek yogurt and things like that, but sometimes you just want mayo. So I'm going to show you two. One is one that we got before I found out I couldn't have eggs. So this is Primal Kitchen. I actually got this on Thrive Market. I believe they still they sell it at Whole Foods and Costco. But um, again, I'm gonna read through the ingredients so you can see, super simple. A avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolks, organic vinegar, sea salt, and organic rosemary extract. That's it. That's all that's in it. And it's amazing. So, and it's not gonna be like the low fat version, right? If you get the low fat ver versions of mayo, like regular brands mayo, it doesn't taste good. You might as well just not have yolk, uh, mayo. So try this instead. This doesn't mean have mayo on everything and have it 20 million times a day. It just means if you're gonna have it, have an elevated version so that it actually tastes good and you don't feel like you're missing out. Now, because I can't have eggs, I get the soy-free veganese um, and I use this instead. Again, super simple. I'm gonna read the, the ingredients. So it has um, sapphire, safflower oil, filtered water, brown rice syrup, apple cider vinegar, pea protein, sea salt, mustard flour, and lemon juice concentrate. That's it. So again, um, when you're looking at your condiments, make sure you're reading the ingredients. It's not something that a lot of people tend to think about. Um, but now that you watch this video, start thinking about it and look at the ingredients first. Look at the ingredients first. If you can pronounce everything and you know that everything's a food, then look at the nutrition facts, right? Because a lot of times with foods, any, any processed or packaged foods, they can make the nutrition facts look good, right? They'll put like half a teaspoon, but nobody in their right mind is using half a teaspoon, like for mayo. If you're gonna use mayo, you're probably using more than half a teaspoon. But when you look at the nutrition facts, you're like, oh, it doesn't have a lot of fat. Oh, that's great. But then, <laughs> but then you look, you're like, what am I doing with a half a teaspoon? Nothing, right? So just pay attention to that. You'll start noticing that the, the sometimes on healthy foods or things that are mar marketed as like low sugar or low fat or diet, blah, blah. You'll look at the nutrition facts and you're gonna be like, Ain't nobody eating just that little amount, right? So just, I, it's, it's smarter to look at the ingredients. So at least you're getting real ingredients and then look at the nutrition facts. All right, so if you have any questions, you can message me in Flock and that's it. Have a nice day.